Good morning, everybody. It's 645 and you can see the uh, cameras are lightening up here. We have some high uh, in mid-level clouds out there right now in Grand Rapids on the north side. I've got clear blue skies here. Uh, we'll see some sunshine this morning, but that's slowly going to be cut off as we head on through the day because of this low pressure system that's going to be moving our way. And as it does, it's going to thicken the cloud cover up and we'll likely see some rain that will develop. They had about 12 to 18 inches of snow in portions of New York yesterday with that nor'easter. Most of that has cleared out of there. High pressure is going to be building on in it, but there's about 130,000 people that are without power right now from all that heavy snow out there. Late season snow, kind of a rare thing, uh, especially that much of it, not to see the snow, but to see that much of it this late in the season, certainly nothing on radar for us as we pull out to a little bit wider perspective. You can see those that uh, thin gray uh, shading here is the uh, high thin cirrus clouds coming in here about oh maybe 15 20,000 feet, but they get thicker as you head back to the west. That's going to move our way throughout today. The sunshine will slowly get cut off. We'll stay dry today, though, during most of the daylight hours. I think maybe about eight, nine o'clock. We could start to see a few of those sprinkles coming in across Lake Michigan at that time. Uh, as we look at our uh, temperatures, the we are in the upper 20s to around the 30 degree mark. We're as cool as 32 in Battle Creek, 31 on the uh, south side of Kalamazoo, 25 in Hastings. The further east you go, the cooler the temperatures are because the skies have remained clearer for a longer period of time. So we get what we call that radiational cooling effect to kind of settle on in. Any heat that we gathered from yesterday, especially since there's no clouds around and we didn't clear until probably about seven, eight o'clock last night from the lakeshore uh, eastward. But you could see uh, we've got some cool temperatures out there where the clouds are a little bit thicker at the lakeshore. We have temperatures that are holding on to around the uh, freezing mark, maybe a little bit higher than that. We're 24 right now in Big Rapids. Pull out to a wider perspective. And as we take a look at our forecast for today, well, we're talking some morning sunshine, but becoming mostly cloudy as we head through the day. Uh, the daytime hours will be dry, but PM and nighttime rain showers develop. Temperatures around 53 for the high with a southeast wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So yes, the winds are going to ramp up out of the south and east. This is what it looks like on the map here at 9 a.m. But look at the way that uh, cloud cover kind of ramps up and moves on in here. Uh, again, this model's trying to fling a little moisture in here by 6 p.m. I think a lot of us will still be dry at that time. And then here comes that wall of water and the cold front, which is going to sweep that moisture right out of here probably before daybreak tomorrow. I think we'll get in on some afternoon sunshine. High pressure will build on in here and temperatures tomorrow on Friday, probably up around the 60 degree mark. We have a warm front that's going to move our way as we get into later on Friday. That could throw some showers and thunderstorms up here uh, later in the day on Friday, Friday evening, especially across our southern County. So as we look at our super seven day planner, today is Wednesday PM and nighttime rain showers, temperatures up around 53 degrees. The other thing will be how much rain will fall. Forecast models have been very consistent anywhere from a quarter to a third of an inch, no more than a half an inch, but it's a widespread rainfall here, especially from probably about 10 o'clock tonight till about two or three o'clock, maybe four o'clock in the morning. So that's where we're going. We should all get in on some of that tomorrow. Some morning cloud cover, but some afternoon sunshine temperatures top out around 61 degrees. And remember I said the winds are going to ramp up with this system as well. This is where we are right now. Calm the almost light winds, but watch the wind speeds ramp up. These are wind speeds in mile per hour and the colors ramp up as well because those are tied to the wind speed. So we're talking uh, today and overnight wind speeds at about 10 to 20, maybe 15 to 25 miles per hour with some gusts up around 30 or 35 right into the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning as well. So hang on to your hats for Friday. Uh, might get a little bit of sunshine very early on Friday, but otherwise mostly cloudy. A PM or nighttime shower thunderstorm would be possible as that warm front approaches, especially across our southern counties. 60 degrees on Friday. Look at that 76 degrees here on Saturday. Some of us could possibly touch our first 80 degree mark there. We're 73 on Sunday. A lot of Sunday looks dry, but later on in the evening, the cold front comes through. That's the other end of the system. Uh, that'll give us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms there. And then behind that cold front, well, as you would expect, colder temperatures, 60 degrees on Monday and in the upper 40s on Tuesday. It's like Mother Nature is going to flick the switch back and say, yeah, we're not quite to summer yet. And that's probably OK because we're not quite to summer yet. That's our weather. It's 650. Here's traffic with Rob.